Hello, Otodo Church. Brian Navajo here. I get to serve you as one of your pastors, and it's such a delight. I want to bring you a devotional thought today that will encourage you. You know, 2020 has been an interesting year, to say the least. No one around the world could determine what 2020 was going to look like. It caught us all by surprise. But here's the good news. Nothing that happens catches God by surprise. He's always in control and in charge of everything. And so in the Bible, in 2 Chronicles chapter 20, the Bible records for us a story. King Jehoshaphat is the ruler of Judea and Jerusalem at the time. And he gets news, he gets word of the Moabites, the Ammonites, and the Meunites are coming against him. They had a vast army. He was so terrified by that news, he went before the Lord and began to pray. He called on all the people to join him in fasting and prayer. And one of the days when he was standing before the Lord and crying out to the Lord, asking for a word and for guidance, the Spirit of the Lord came upon a gentleman called Jehaziel, who then said to them these words coming from the very heart of God that were not just a great reminder, but a great word of encouragement that I want to leave with you today. He said this in verse 15, Listen, King Jehoshaphat and all who live in Judah and Jerusalem, this is what the Lord says to you. Do not be afraid or discouraged because of this vast army, for the battle is not yours, but God's. What a word. What an encouraging word, but what a great reminder. Listen, God recognized that because they'd received word of a vast army coming against them, fear began to rise in their hearts. And I sense that many of us in this season are just afraid because of the facts of what's going on around us. It could be the fact that you lost a job. It could be the fact that when you look to the left or to the right, you don't see good coming around the corner, so you're afraid. This is what I've learned about fear, is that we become afraid when we look at the facts. God recognizes the fact is that there is a vast army coming against them, but then he leaves them with not just a fact, he reminds them of the truth, and this is the truth. For the battle is not yours, but, but it's God's. Now here's the truth I want to leave with you. Don't just look at the facts. What is the truth? Though the mountain may be large, though the problem may be big, the truth is God is for you, not against you. Your God is almighty. He's able to see you through. His grace is sufficient. That is the truth. God will see you through. So don't just pay attention to the facts. Pay attention to the truth. And listen, truth has a name. His name is Jesus. Look to the truth. Look to Jesus. As he said in John 14, 6, I'm the way, the truth. Let's trust Jesus. Let's trust his promise to be true, even in this season of our life. And when we look to the Lord, he gives us victory. He brings us through. He brings us out. That is what happened for, for King Jehoshaphat and his country. They went out. They marched in prayer and praise. And this is what happened. The enemy was defeated. They didn't even have to raise their hands to fight. Why? because they were reminded, not just of the facts, but they were pointed to the truth by God. When they embraced the truth and walked by the truth of what God said, they saw victory. Can I encourage you, my friend, today? Fix your eyes on Jesus, who is the truth. His word is true, his promise is true. He will see you through this season of your life. Be encouraged, friends. God bless you.